help it. It was Natalie's favorite dish, and she was my favorite dish. Oh, Daddy, will you just get over her? It's been two weeks. She gone. Daddy, she gone. Stop acting so desperate. It's embarrassing. Ooh, did Joshua Arnaz call? I thought you were just friends with salt and pepper. They gone, baby, they gone. <laughs> Daddy, where's the kitchen table? Baby, I'm purging all furniture that reminds me of Natalie. Long, shapely legs, nice soft seats, made in Puerto Rico. Oh. <laughs> it's for me, Daddy! It's for me! That's for me! Give me the phone! That's for me! Pay no bills! Ah. Hello? Ah, I'm here, Natalie, I'm here! Oh, he hung up. No, she hung up. You answered the phone all breathy. She probably thought I had another woman over here. Or a Prince. <laughs> Natalie love Prince. Daddy, what's happening to us? You're getting all weepy over androgynous rock stars, and I went out and bought these. They're night vision binoculars, so I can see Josh and Arnaz at night from afar. You know what's happening here? The popular ain't popping. The in crowd's on the outs. See, we used to being put on a pedestal, being adored. Okay, Daddy, you may have been adored, but I was worshipped. Yeah, and now it's just us. But you know what? You don't need a boyfriend, and I don't need a girlfriend to be happy. I'm done with women. Ain't nothing but aggravation. Me too. I'm done with boys. Then it's a pack. Just you and me. No clutter. Agreed? Agreed. Hit it right there. Hi. I'm Yvette, and this is my son, Michael. I'm house-sitting for my sister in 3B, and I locked us out. So I was oh, wondering, is there Oh, don't you come knocking on my door with your sob story. This is how it all starts. Look at you. Your hair's all silky smooth. Mm -hmm. With your fine, handsome, looking like Usher son. Yeah, we're on to you, and we don't play that. Mm -mm. My daughter and I have each other, and that's plenty. Yeah, that's right, Daddy. Break out. I think this is going to go very well. Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you love where you're going? Baby, 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 I never felt so free, y'all. Mm, I've learned from my mistakes, y'all. And mistake by name is woman. Mm. That's, heavy. That's heavy. But what are you gonna do when you get that, you know, the way I'm tickled? I know you and Ace are new around here, but I don't get that the way I'm tickled. I'm not a slave to my desires. Yo, I like being alone. You know what I'm saying? I can watch sports anytime I want. Yo, I got ESPN on at the house right now. I ain't even there. <laughs> Although my ankle bracelet says I'm there, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find a woman completes me. When I can find one, I'm completely surprised. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Bree Bree. No, 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 baby. No, no, no. You don't need to talk to Josh and Arnaz. Okay, d listen to me, sweetie. Repeat after me. You and me, we don't need three. You and me, we don't need three. <laughs> Very good. All right, baby. All right, I'll be home soon. Stay strong. Ah, my poor little codependent daughter. The girl would be lost without me. Oh, Flex, I didn't know Brianna was codependent. She got to wear, like, special shoes for that? <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? Uh, manicurist is two hours late and her CNI midget. <laughs> Hasty hookups, what is this? It's a singles event. Where have you been, Flex? It's the new thing. You go around the room talking to different women for three minutes at a time. Look, it's an assignment for my business class. Now, according to my market research, single people are most likely to part with two things, cash and dignity. I only want your cash. <laughs> Mm -hmm. See, that's what I love about my candy. <laughs> She's ambitious, driven, and doesn't mind a man who travels with a step stool. <laughs> oh. uh, hey, Flex, how's Natalie? <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Dwayne, how's your daddy? <laughs> 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 the 
Look, I, I wish you luck, Candy, but Brianna and I made a pact. Then unpack. I need to pass this class. I can't. Brianna and I are swearing off dating. No more Natalie, no more Josh and Arnaz, no more anybody else. Just a father and daughter having fun. Flex, Matt, you have to come. This is important to Candy. Besides, your name is on the flyer as our celebrity single. Mm -hmm. It says here the celebrity single is Flex Washington. <laughs> It feels so good to be walking down the hall and not to be worried about Josh or Arnaz and how much they in love with me. <laughs> oh, girls, Arnaz looking at me. No. <laughs> See, and I don't even care. Oh, maybe that's Josh. Hello? Yeah, sure, I'm looking forward to seeing you tonight. Daddy, come on, remember our pact. Say it with me. Stay strong, others are wrong. Stay strong, others are wrong. <laughs> Better? Okay, love you too. Bye. You know, this whole pack thing with you and your dad just seems silly. How can you swear off guys? We're 16-year-old girls. What else is there? <laughs> Spirit, I don't expect you to understand. When you spend your whole life on a pedestal, <laughs> your legs get really tired, girl, for real. <laughs> Besides, my dad needs me, and I need to stay strong for him. Girl, I know Arnaz is looking at me. Just tell me, is he looking? <laughs> no. <laughs> now look, I met a cute guy. I think my new hair is working for me. <laughs> and he has a cute friend, and we're going to Dave and Dan's Playtown on Friday night. You want to come? Yeah, sure, I'll meet you there. My dad loves that place. Great food, great games, fun for everyone. <laughs> Who's trying to hang out with your dad? I'm trying to hook us up with some thug passion. Hey. Oh, hey, Arnest. Look at you, sounding all sexy. <laughs> Boy, you need to stop. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I'm sorry, Brianna, were you saying something? <laughs> yeah, but not to you. Boy, you need to stop. OK, I'm back. Let me look in my purse and see if I can find you some spackle. Because your face just got cracked. <laughs> yeah, but I don't even care about him. I'm all about having fun, and nothing's more fun than hanging out with my dad. You thought I wouldn't approve of your video game collection. And I was afraid how I'm making you grab your full attention. Situated in northern Germany, on the Elbe River, Hamburg is about 60 Up in there, Daddy! Oh, only to save you the trouble. Hello? Oh, hey, Spirit Girl, how you been? A movie? Tonight? Oh, with your cutie and his friend? <laughs> Heck no! I'm watching a documentary with my dad. It's off the chain. Is that Hitler? Hey, Flex, man, I need you to cross the hall, dog. There's too many single women in my apartment. Dwayne, check it out. The women on TV aren't really in your apartment. No, Flex, it's hasty hookups, man. None of guys showed up. Just come on over and make an appearance while we round up a few guys from the homeless shelter. Dwayne, can't you see that my little girl and I are bonding? We're watching... Are those Nazis? It's okay, Daddy, go. Oh, don't worry, I'm just gonna help Dwayne for a few minutes. Still me and you, kid. Now, what do we say? In, in it together, together tougher than leather. <laughs> Hey, Spirit. Hey, could we get your cuties homeboy on three-way? <laughs> I'm ready for a little thug passion. <laughs> Let's get this over with, man. I can't think of anything more boring than a room full of desperate women. Falling out of their dresses. Hello, ladies. I'm Bex Washington Stone. <laughs>
Okay, gentlemen, please take your seats across from each of the ladies. Hurry, hurry. Yo, Flex, what do you think of my opening line? Uh, uh, in a word, it's, uh, disturbing. I'm communicating with my eyes. You communicate with your words. I'll use my soul. Uh, yeah? We got some crust in the corner of your soul. That's good. What are you doing here? I thought you were off women. Man, I'm just helping out a friend. But while I'm here, step back, and you can watch a play a play. Oh, I know how to play the game. I can talk a woman into anything and out of everything. <laughs> See, that's what you got wrong, El Duque. <laughs> the game isn't about talking, it's about listening. All right, now tonight I'm gonna try my new thing. I'm not talking about myself, it's all about the ladies. <laughs> okay, everyone. Here are the rules to hasty hookups. When the bell rings, you'll have three minutes to talk before the bell rings again. At which point, the men will rotate to the next lady. Oh, hey, uh, Arnest, thanks for coming on such short notice. Now remember, you're 21 and in medical school. Got it? Got it. Can I be a surgeon? Oh, shh, shh, not without this. Here. <laughs> now go, operate. So check your teeth and your breath. Let the hookups begin. Yes, you could get lost in my eyes, but I'd rather get lost in the sound of your voice. say that walks in the park and sunsets are my favorite things, but I'm really enjoying listening to you. Please, tell me more about your stitches. <laughs> Don't get it, brother, wrong. I, I can bring it, you know? It's just, you know, sometimes my brother just want to hold hands and cuddle. I don't tell my boys about this. So. I'm Cuban. You know what that means? I'm great at stickball. <laughs> Excuse my subtlety. <laughs> Blood. I like that. <laughs> so after I finished medical school, I did my residency at the Mayo Clinic. You know, they discovered mayonnaise there. Yeah. I'm a mustard man myself. What are you staring at? You think Tiger's scalp swings all that? You haven't seen anything until you've seen my follow through. No, girl, I'm scared of you talking about you shot an 86. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that scorecard. Well, it's in a frame on my wall, so I guess you'll have to come to my apartment for that, huh? With flowers and a bottle of wine. Red or white? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't think I want you to leave. <laughs> Play through, brother. Bamanos. Bamanos. I need to see a pay stub first. Uh, time, ding, rotate. I'm a social worker. Well, more of an advocate for children, really. If there's a child in danger, it's my job to save them. Oh, do you wear a cape? <laughs> oh, listen to me. I must be going on too much about what I do. Oh, no, no. I love listening to you, please. Then why don't we get together tomorrow night and you can hear me talk some more? Mm, it's a date. And I want to see your checking account, your savings account. Do you have a house? Oh, thank God. Friday night. Hanging out with your dad during the week is one thing, but on the weekends, only white people do that. <laughs> and what about Pug Passion? Girl, you don't understand. I want to go to Dave and Dan's with you guys, but I can't. My dad needs me, and a pack is a pact. Look, I didn't want to have to use this, but this is my man's friend. <laughs> Mother of all that is perfection. Is he real? Or did you cut him out of my dreams? Oh, 
Oh, uh, Brianna, I just got some bad news. I found out that I'm gonna have to work late tonight. That's too bad. How long do you picture you'll be working? Uh, I'm interviewing Serena Williams, so, you know, it might be a while, you know, because she wants to get some things off of her chest about tennis. And, uh, so don't wait up, because I'm gonna be gone it's long, I'm really long, I'll be gone. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, but when you come home, don't wake me. I'm gonna be sound asleep, you know, with my eyes closed tight, not moving a muscle and alone and, and not making a sound. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm just gonna be sleeping. Okay, now, if, if you don't want me to do this interview, I, I can blow it off. No, no, it's okay. I understand. I get the picture. <laughs> it's your job. Okay, good, baby. All right. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, say it with me, girl. It's you and me. I'm finally free. Get us some more tokens, you know, so Spirit and I can talk about you, my little Savion lover. It didn't take you long to get back to your play away. <laughs> well, girl, you know. <laughs> what was I thinking? No boys? It's like no air. And to think, I just wanted to hang out with my daddy! <laughs> I know, girl, you were insane. You were all Brianna interrupted. <laughs> no, girl, my daddy is right there. Oh, I gotta hide. <laughs> my form, Flex. Ah, that's great. I can't wait to get you out there on the fairway. Flex, you're a great date. You're a wonderful uh, listener. <laughs> <laughs> you took me to a nice dinner. I think we're really hitting it off. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see where we go next. Uh, well, I was thinking about taking you to Brianna. Never been there, but it sure gets you excited. No, 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 no. My daughter Brianna, she's over there. You didn't tell me you had a daughter. Please don't tell me you have a wife. Well, yes. No, uh, sort of. Define wife. Wait a minute. Are you telling me you have a daughter and a wife? No wonder you let me do all the talking. You're a nightmare. No, no, no. You don't understand. It's my new thing. See, I'm hiding from my daughter because I'm cheating on her. <laughs> met freaks on the internet. Ron, it's not what you think. See, my, my daughter broke up with both her boyfriends, and I broke up with my fiance because I found out I was still married, even though I got a divorce 15 years ago. You know what? That whole not talking thing, I get it now. Well, good. Stop moving. She can see me. This is ridiculous. Brianna, you're cheating daddies over here. <laughs> hey, daddy. You know, I didn't want to bother you because you were on an interview. Hey, Serena. Girl, you look different. Don't let your guilt trip on me, miss. I'm gonna be at home, sleep with my eyes closed. Ooh, look at me, I'm sleeping, Daddy. <laughs> you broke our pact here with, with Lil Predator. Actually, his name is Lamont, but we can call him Lil Predator. <laughs> look, I can see you two need some help. And as a child welfare professional, I can tell you it's not unusual for a parent and a child to cling to each other and shut out the world when they've both been hurt. You have to be with people your age, and you have to be with people your age. As sweet as the thought, you just can't be everything to each other. Daddy, I like her. She gets us. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to see you again if that's possible. No chance. <laughs> Obviously, you can't be trusted. No, but wait, I'm saying I'm... Look, Daddy, I'm sorry. I am too, sweetie. But she's right. Yeah, we should be around people our own age. New pact? New pact. Okay, repeat after me. Just you and me, two together. Uh, Daddy. <laughs> Newer pact, no more slogans. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to go home? Uh, actually, Daddy, <laughs> my date's still here. See ya. <laughs> Everybody, thanks to Hasty Hookups, I got an A on my assignment. Oh, yeah. Am I a great businesswoman or what? Well, <laughs> Call me Stedman, fellas, because I am with the next Oprah. <laughs> oh no, baby, we get married. <laughs> oh man, it's a shame that 
Brothers need all this game to talk to a woman nowadays. See, back in the days, smooth brothers like Gregory Hines didn't need all that game. All they needed was space. Oh, watch out, watch out. Brianna, this place is a mess. Now I need you to carry your weight. This is supposed to be a partnership. Well, a true partner would help clean up. Those aren't my toenail clippings. <laughs> Yo, you might want to see a foot doctor. Yo, you might want to see yourself out. Look, Brie, I would help you clean, but I have to cover this game. I'm tracking another hot story. Ooh, can you bring some hot dogs back? OK, now you really got to go. Come on, come on. Oh, thanks, dog. <laughs> Player. <laughs> Guess where I just came from? Rapper school? <laughs> no. I just had a meeting with Big Sal. You were looking at the man who was going to write the radio jingle for Big Sal's used car commercial. Ooh. That still doesn't explain why you're dressed like a gangster smurf. <laughs> I got a little advance in pay. The music business can be very lucrative. More money, no problems. I do wop it up, beat it out da. Yes, yes, yo! <laughs> Well, you don't know anything about music. Yeah, I know, man. But I lied to Big Sal because I wanted a little extra money in this jacket. I mean, check it out, dog. Chinchilla. OK, so what's the big blue Eminem going to do now? Uh, nothing. I'm going to have Arnez write it. <laughs> hey, uh, Arnez, hmm. you're a talented young musician. How would you like to write a jingle? Uh, one catch, there's not much money in it. Oh, no problem. I'll just take that jacket. All right, no problem. Here you go. <laughs> it's not really Chinchilla. <laughs> Sometimes in this life you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, you want to. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to think of then. What a true love we are found. Living one on one, one on one. Yeah. Ain't nobody break this bond. Yeah. What's it look like? Are we winning? Hey. Hey, what's Jack Crawford doing here? Well, let's see. This is Crawford Arena, which is next to the Crawford Shopping Mall, which is near the Crawford Museum. The more appropriate question is, why am I talking to you? <laughs> hey, Jack. Slumming with the press? I, I had a bet with Councilman Harris. <laughs> so, uh, you lost that bet, right? Third one I lost to Harris today. So I'm guessing something's on your mind. You're back to all your old bad habits, schmoozing city councilmen, uh, biting your nails, playing the ponies. How'd you know I was playing the ponies again? You help a jockey into his Hummer, he'll tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ambitious young man, Flex. I've always liked that about you. So I'm going to give you the heads up. The city just agreed to share the cost with me of renovating this whole arena. That's, that's great. Do you mind if I put that on tonight's Flex Files? Uh, sure, if you want half the story. By Friday, I'll also know which professional hockey team I'm bringing in. That's huge. Hockey in Baltimore? Ah, I'll wait for that story. <laughs> Man, if it isn't my next wife, Bill, who is that? Sheila Kerr. Sheila, 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 Sheila Kerr. Mm -hmm. She's the reporter who broke that big ephedrine scandal at Minnesota A&M. Mm -hmm. Why is she out here? Oh, she's with the Baltimore Examiner now. Oh, they threw a ton of money at her. Well, it's time to throw a ton of flex at her. <laughs> Hi. Uh, flex Washington, WYNX. Welcome to Baltimore. Uh -huh. Thank you. I've seen your show. You're good. You almost rise above the indolence of a typical TV reporter. <laughs> well, I haven't read you yet, but uh, I've been looking forward to words like indolence. It's a bit ostentatious. But I guess that's typical of a newspaper reporter. No offense, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Why don't you go back over there and stay there? You don't want me to leave. You don't know what I want. You've wanted one thing since the moment our eyes met. Yeah, that moment back. 
<laughs> My car's outside. You sure think a lot of yourself, don't you? Until you, it was the only thing worth thinking about. No, Flex. I'm not really a first date kind of girl. Oh, we haven't had a date yet. Oh, good. Then my reputation's saved. Oh, <laughs> Will you respect me in the morning? Uh, do you have a Pulitzer? Yeah, I got a box of them in my sock drawer. <laughs> so after I've become the best night of your life, could we have dinner tomorrow night? Oh, I have to help my son study for an algebra test. Oh, no, no, no. My daughter's an algebra whiz. She can help him. Uh, <laughs> algebra? I'm bad. Yeah, but you're also an actress, so just act like you're good at algebra. Well, we had an agreement, partner. I don't set you up with my friend's moms, and I don't have to be buddy-buddy with your girlfriend's kids, especially dumb kids. He's not dumb. His mom says he's a sweet kid with a great personality. He sounds fat. <laughs> Fifteen bucks an hour. For tutoring something you know nothing about? Oh, good point. More work for me. Twenty. <laughs> Hey, hey Flex. Hey. This is my son, Eric. Hey, what's up, man? Whoa. Is that my soda? Yep, that's the algebra whiz. <laughs> okay, come on. We don't want to be late for our reservations. <laughs> what's up, shawty? Hey. <laughs> Look, if you have a laptop, my oh, mom got me the CD ROM for inner city kids. It's algebra for algebras. <laughs> that's if we get around to studying. <laughs> I'll go get my dad's laptop. Oh, and by the way, if you lay a hand on me, you'll find your fingers out you're broken. Okay. <laughs> There you are. I was tweezing my shoulders when a jingle just came to me. All right, how's this? Honk, honk. Who's there? A car. A car who? At Big Sal's. <laughs> Look, I'm the artist, and it's wannabes like you that have turned today's jingles into the cookie-cutter commercial garbage they are today. Hey, it is a commercial, silly Joel. And did you guys read The Examiner? Real estate mogul Jack Crawford will renovate Crawford Arena to help lure a hockey team to Baltimore. This was my scoop and Sheila beat me to it, man. How did she do that? Oh, let's see. She's beautiful with a banging body and is a master manipulator, just like you. Look at you. She's got your nose wide open. Grounded. Oh, poor predictable daddy. He can never see around those soft, soft curves. Grounded, grounded, grounded. Hey. Oh, hey. I, you scooped me. Mm-hmm. I read the paper. So tell me, who's your source? Oh, no, 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 no. A good journalist never reveals her source. Ooh, you look good in the morning. I always look better after I work hard all night. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to meet me at the stadium. Oh, yeah, but Eric got to be on his algebra test, oh. thanks to Brianna. So I was hoping we could get a little more one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> Oh, look, you've, you've got some jelly right there. Oh, I, I, uh, ooh. Ooh. oh man. <laughs> uh, uh, Brianna, uh, would you mind helping the jelly? <laughs> uh, I mean, the boy, the boy. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll help him. Let's just hope he's graded on a curve, a dangerous curve. The kind of curve that we God, have to get the curve. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I seem to have a little something on my face. However, will I get it off? Like this. Oh. So, X equals two, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, go with that. I think I'm getting this. Mind if I try to film my own? Yeah, go ahead. He's so cute. He's a freshman. So? And he's stupid. Even better, hook a sister up. <laughs> hey, look. I need to make a phone call. I'm gonna step outside. I'd like you to step into my world. <laughs> you think he has a girlfriend? He can't even spell girlfriend. Stop hating on my man. Well, let's go see who he's talking to. <laughs> Hey, Mom, it's me. Oh, hi, 
Guys, sis. <laughs> Is everything okay? I just read an email on Flex's laptop from Jack Crawford. He's bringing the owner of the new hockey team to the arena for a tour and to meet Flex. Mm. <laughs> well, that little went till my daddy hears about this. My Romeo has no limits. It's so hot. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Dad, Eric's not stupid. He's trying to... Baby, that's great, but I have to talk to you later. Woo! <laughs> oh, you a naughty girl. Uh, bye, baby. But, but Daddy... Man, trying to warn my partner about the woman he's seeing, and he disses me. I bet you this is how Matt Damon felt. <laughs> Such a rough neck, but I could be the sandpaper scarf that he needs. Hey, look who's home early. Uh, yeah, she has got a headache. Maybe you should steal a couple of aspirin before you leave. <laughs> Good one, girl. <laughs> uh, so I'll call you tomorrow, see how you feel. Oh, baby, that's so sweet. But I'll call you. Rihanna, would you be comfortable with calling Sheila mommy? No, but I'll call her a cab, a moving van, or an ambulance. <laughs> Daddy, we need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting any more money just because you had a breakthrough with little sling blade. Daddy, while you were taking care of business, I was trying to call you and tell you that Eric stole your story off your laptop. What story? The one where you're going to the arena tomorrow morning to meet the owner of the new hockey team. How did you know about that? We heard my new boyfriend read your email over the phone to his mama. Ooh, that little, ow! Oh, that must be how she stole my story on the stadium renovation. FYI, I got a cousin in Philly who can make her disappear. If Sheila goes to the arena, she'll find out which hockey team is moving to Baltimore, which means she'll get it in the newspaper before I can get it on the air. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's a low down. Ooh, she is hot. <laughs> she could be the one, baby. Daddy, wake up. That woman is bad news. She's bad to the bone, like a snake in the grass. Poison. Like Are you done? Trouble with a capital T. <laughs> so what you gonna do? You ever heard of the saying, you can't see the forest for the trees? Yeah, I never understood that. Me either. <laughs> but this is what we're gonna do. We need to get them over here first thing in the morning. Are you gonna call her or nudge her? <laughs> Stay focused. Okay. Now, you're gonna play the role that you were born to play. I need you to play crazy. Yeah, I can do that. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes. Let's hear it, baby. When you need a car and your credit's up par, our prices are the best. You can put us to the test. Big styles. Big sounds. See, I'm la espanol. It's genius. <laughs> it's catchy. It's original. Uh, you have a gift, son, and we are going to give that gift to the world. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. Hey, I'm going to get this down to Big Sal right away. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who was that? Nobody. I had faith in you all along. <laughs> Lex, is Brianna okay? Hi! Hi. I, I'm sorry. She locked herself in the room and, and just started screaming, I love you, Eric. So I figured seeing him would be just what she needed. Look, I made flashcards and they're in the shape of hearts because I cut them and I cut them some okay, more. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You cut out enough hearts for one day, baby. Let's, let's give them some alone time together. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, I please. please. No, no. She's very unstable right now. Uh, you two have fun, okay? Go, 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 go. go. Come on, come on. Come on. You're not gonna break my hearts, are you? <laughs> Candy is gonna love this. Oh, Betty? Yeah, let me help you. Yeah, uh, one minute. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, the one. Bad time? <laughs> Yeah, I came for my money. But I told you, there is no money in this. Nice bike, Dwayne. Yeah, let me get you a 20. We'll be right back. 
When you're in the mood for some spicy food and it's Mexican you crave, then we're all the rave. Jack's Mexican Grill. Jack's Mexican Grill. Se habla inglés. Hey, Arnez, that's the same jingle I just bought from you. Oh, and he took my 20. Boy! You better get back here! So this is an unusual place for a date. Oh, come on now. Doesn't the smell of stale popcorn and rotting hot dogs and the feel of a sticky cement floor make you feel sexy? And a little hungry. Oh. <laughs> I bet they didn't have a presentation like this for you in Kalamazoo. <laughs> uh, Flex, glad you can make it. Uh, I want you to meet Mr. Alex Bellino with the... Uh, Milwaukee Blades. Uh, of course, nice to meet you, Alex. This is uh, Sheila Kerr of the uh, Baltimore Examiner. Hello, Hello. Sheila. Uh, Hi. Uh, listen, we're taking a tour of the arena. I'm showing Alex some of the changes we're going to make. Uh, why don't you come along? Uh, and you too, Sheila. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Uh, we'd I love to. Let's go, guys. All right. <laughs> what are you up to, Flex? When I'm with you, no good. So, you have a little thing for me, huh? Don't worry, you aren't the first baby bitten by the E-man's joint. <laughs> Listen, E-boy, besides being too young, you're a little too shady for me. What are you talking about? What about the heart-shaped flash cards? They're bad in eyelashes. I got pink eye. But my good eye has been on you. We know you've been stealing stories from my dad's laptop, so we set you up with a phony email. The hockey team? Yep, right now my daddy's introducing your mom to the wrong hockey team owner, and she'll end up printing a bogus story about which team is moving here. She'll be the laughing stock of Baltimore. Uh-huh, me and my daddy played you and your jelly licking mama. <laughs> uh-uh, don't even bother. I lifted her cell phone out of her purse. <laughs> That's right, it's going down right now, and you can't do nothing to stop it. <laughs> you are an evil little girl. <laughs> we could do some crazy things, you and me. <laughs> I'll pass. Excuse me while I go to the ladies' room. Oh, and don't do nothing stupid while I'm gone. I call you Trout for taking the bait. <laughs> well, Mr. Bellino, it was a pleasure meeting you, and I'm sure I speak for Baltimore when I say we look forward to having the Blades move here. Absolutely. Flex, uh, we'll talk later and let you two get back to your investigative reporting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Where were we? Hmm? What's going on, Flex? I thought I was being obvious. Now, am I being clear? <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that you're hot for me, but you're not that hot for me. You just handed me a great story right on a silver platter. Well, uh, actually, it was more like Formica. You knew I stole your last story. So you're trying to set me up with this one, get me to print the wrong story. I gotta get it pretty early to fool you. But then that would mean that Crawford and Bellino are in on it, and they're too busy to be meddling around with a couple of rival reporters. Once again, you are too smart for me. So then this is the story, and the Blades are moving to Baltimore, and you're just trying to psych me out. You're like a bald sheep. I can't pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> Mom! Mom! What, what are you doing here, Eric? It's a setup, Mom. Only man isn't the owner that's moving. Brianna told me every day. Eric, wait! You're too late. She already knows. You got cocky, little mama. Amateurs always get cocky. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We tried. Well, you almost had me print that bogus story, Washington. You're good. But my seed trumped your seed. Let's go, Eric. It's okay, it's all right, baby. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Brianna shoots <What>? and scores. <laughs> that plan worked perfectly. I know, we got her to think the story's fake. Now the scoop is all yours, Daddy. And yep, I knew she would believe her kid over her own instincts. Really, how? Because she trusted her partner. Something I should have done in the first place. So welcome to Baltimore, Blades. I'm Flex Washington, and remember, you heard it here first. Nah, 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 nah. 
And in basketball, Philadelphia beat Washington in the high school scoring Eastern Conference matchup. What are you doing here, Lois Lane? I came to apologize. Yeah, you can apologize all you want to, and it's still not going to make a difference to me because I just... <laughs> I forgive you. He's one of my clients for my dating service. Unemployed, lives with his mom in his van, and speaks fluent Klingon. <laughs> Wait, Lisa, I think I found you a live one. <laughs> really? Let me see. Ew, and a unibrow. Hey, who wants to come to a hot party in the Hollywood Hills tonight? Will there be women at this one, man? <laughs> hey, I didn't know that was going to be the Brokeback Mountain rap party. You guys in or you out? Well, that depends. Are we going to ask Brianna and Ernest to come? No way. They've only been broken up for a few weeks. It'd be way too awkward. Yeah, exes can't be friends. But they can run for governor and then act like they don't know you. <laughs> it must be so painful for them every time they see each other. Painful for them? How about us? I mean, all they do is talk about the weather. Hot out today, huh? Must be about 80. 82, the radio said. 15% chance of rain. Can't take this weather crap anymore. Yo, Arnez, why don't y'all talk about something more interesting? Say, like, the Middle East. Right, fire, fire, yeah, we can do that. Did you uh, hear that it gets as high as 125 degrees over there? Huh. Well, do you know if it's dry heat or is there humidity? Good question. Okay. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. I'll be back to take a bend. What I truly like we are fine. Maybe one, no, one, no, one. Can't nobody break this bond. Living one, no, one. Now we have the fine. Yo, Brianna, hey, what's up? I hate to bother you, because I know you all torn up and stuff. I'm fine. Such a brave soldier. <laughs> but anyway, look, I made you something to help you through this trying time. All right? I call it my you were too good for Arnez anyway mix. <laughs> I'm every woman, because you represent. I will survive, because I know you will. <laughs> and sexual healing, which I personally think is the way to go. <laughs> Going. Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, I don't need no man. No, I don't need. Wait a minute. Where is everybody going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Wait a second. You guys were going out without me? No. We were ditching our nets too. See ya. <laughs> Wait, why? Just because we broke up, you don't think we can't hang out with each other? Pretty much. But. <laughs> Look, I don't have a problem with it. Do you have a problem with it, Arnaz? Hey, if you don't have a problem with it, I sure don't. I just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> hey, will you stop checking out Arnaz? Chris Brown is the one with the Rolex. Uh, actually, um, I, I was checking out D-Mag. He's kind of hot. Back off, sister. I've been working that for two years. Huh? Yo, this house must be higher up than I thought because right now I'm looking at an angel. Oh my God, Chris Brown! How you doing? I know who I am, but I'm interested in who you are. I I'm Brianna. Brianna, yeah, Brianna. Yeah. Kinda hot. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, but you're also only 16. These ain't nothing but a number. Tell me. <laughs> so, if you're not afraid of calling a 16 year old and afraid of a little jail time, here's my card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You just turned down Chris Brown. Well, he's 16. So, by the time you decide to have sex with him, I'll be 18. Another prosciutto wrapped shrimp for the lovely lady. Compliments to the chef. I thought all this food was free. Hey, you made these? They're wonderful. Keep them coming. Oh, I plan to. I'll take them. 
Nothing. I thought I could handle this. This is weird being at the same party as my ex-girlfriend. Especially when she's acting like we never went out. There's a lot of people here. You could go the whole night and not worry about seeing her. <laughs> oh, God, here she comes. Hey. Hey. Isn't this a beautiful view? Great visibility. Surprise, not cloudy. Barometer's been falling all day. <sighs> okay, stop talking about the weather. Why don't you both just admit that you're uncomfortable around each other so we can all get on with our partly cloudy lives? I have no idea what you're talking about. Not only am I good with our breakup, I have so moved on. Oh, so you moved on? Just like that? Well, of course. That's what people do when they have a huge fight and break up. They move on. Haven't you moved on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm more than moved on. Uh-huh, I moved on so much. I'm actually back where I started. Yeah, in fact, I've moved on so much, I'm thinking about what to say to that cute girl over there. Okay. Good for you. And since I've moved on so much, too, I'm gonna help you out with that by introducing you. Don't do it, man. The minute she says hi, Brianna's gonna shank her with a cocktail of soap. Uh. Don't be silly. Now, come on and let me do all the talking. You're not so good at it. Uh, so well at it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, my friend is kind of shy, but he would really like to meet you. Oh, a guy that cute doesn't have to be shy. Really? Oh, see? You two have something in common already. He thinks he's cute, too. <laughs> I like those jeans. They look well on you. Oh, thank you. What country are you from? <laughs> and then I was bringing to the back. Oh, word? More food? Oh, this is great. Yo, I can eat this every day. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is for the beautiful lady. I didn't get your name. It's Sarah. Renault. And I'm Lisa, and I'm starving. Me not. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make you a fresh batch. It's okay. I am just as interested in the chef as I am in the food. You know, you're really good at what you do. I'm good at everything I do. Do you do barbecue? Excuse me? Oh, don't pay attention to them. They're just my roommate. Uh, roommates who would like to invite you to their barbecue tomorrow. Yeah, you know, so you two can get to know each other in a more relaxed, casual environment on our patio, which happens to have a grill. So can you come? Will you be there? Yes. Then I'll come. Can I bring anything? Everything here tonight was good. Good. Until tomorrow. I look forward to it. <laughs> hey, in case you guys didn't notice, I have just cooked up Arnez, which proves I have moved up. <laughs> now, if you and I were laying in bed together naked, <laughs> I'd believe. <laughs> I'm not going to warn you again. These are the best ribs I've ever had. Are you sure your mama's white? And Sarah likes ribs, right? Because I'm making these for her. Don't worry about Sarah. She won't date you, I will. That wasn't really the plan. But of course Sarah will date him. Wait till she tastes the cornbread. But I didn't make any cornbread. No cornbread? What, are you afraid of love? No, I love love. Sarah loves cornbread. <laughs> okay, the lemonade is done. I guess I'll move on to Megan's and Punch. <laughs> well, when I finish shucking this corn, I'll move on to shucking whatever else needs to be shucked. Hey, how do I look? Because I just checked Ronaldo's credit rating and it's through the roof. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, but you better hurry up because you've got competition. As soon as Cash tasted the ribs, he went and put on his best shirt. <laughs> That is a nice shirt. Rise and shine, girls. We've got work to do. All done. Now this corn is free from its oppressive husk. It's good to be free, doesn't it, corn? Okay, now you're talking to the corn. Well, it's not like we're talking. You know what? You're right. This is silly. 
We've been friends for too long to be treating each other like this. We should stop playing games and just talk to each other like normal people. No more dumb weather talk. No more talking to produce. <laughs> Let's just be real and honest with each other. Okay, I'd like that. See, that'd be nice. Because ever since we broke up... Oh, wait, just a second. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm closer. No, really, I... I'm... Hi! Brianna, right? Alicia! What are you doing here? Oh, Arnaz invited me. I'm sorry. Did you say Arnez invited you? Yeah, I invited her last night. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I put these sodas in the fridge? Oh, I got them. Oh, uh, no, I'll get them. No, I said I'll take them. Uh, get them. Give them to me. Boy, you guys must really love soda. Look, I invited her last night before, you know, we decided to be real with each other. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't have a problem with this. You don't. I thought we were being honest with each other. You mean to tell me that you don't care that I invited her here? Of course not. Why should I? I just hope it doesn't rain today. Oh, great. Now we're talking about the weather again. For your information, there's only a 20% chance of rain. She's a 90% chance of sunshine. So, are we the only ones here? Because I'm not much of a weather buff. Oh, no. Everybody else is out back. Come here. I'll show you. Everybody, look who's here. It's Alicia. I guess she and Arnez hit it off because he invited her to the barbecue. So come on, everyone. Let's say hi to Alicia. Hi, hi Alicia. Alicia. Hi. Damn shame somebody that fine dying so young. Oh, excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Here, let me show you. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I'll show her. No, I'll show her. Go. We always go in twos. It's a girl thing. What the hell were you thinking, Arnez? Brianna's gonna kill that girl. Yeah, we haven't even finished our appetizers yet. <laughs> Brianna just got done telling me how honest she wants us to be. Now she's playing some kind of game like she doesn't care that Alicia's here. Well, I'm gonna make her stop fronting. Even if it costs Alicia most of her hair. <laughs> Oh my God, what have you done with Alicia? <laughs> She's in the bathroom. Oh, all right, think, think, think. Um, mm -hmm. We wrap her body up in a shower curtain and then dump it just outside of bar stuff. Okay. <laughs> Here, take the back roads. Wait, why do I have to do it? I have a date. <laughs> okay, you two are scaring me. Why would I want to kill her? He should have never brought her to the house. How many times do I have to tell you guys? I have moved on. Now, come on, let's go enjoy the barbecue. You know, your food is delicious. My research indicates. I mean, your catering company must do very well. Oh, it does, but my dream is to open my own restaurant and share it with the woman I love. Mm. You mean as in share the net... Profit? <laughs> Share everything, just like my dad did with my mom. They're partners. He cooks, she cleans. He drives to the fish market, she loads the fish barrels. He drives home, she cleans and guts the fish. She is going to love meeting you. Oh my God, the poor woman's still alive? Uh, will you excuse me for the rest of my life? Things heating up with the love chef? No, oh, he doesn't want a girlfriend. He wants a Gorton fisherman. <laughs> Keep him away from me. So did Sarah say anything about me? She's totally into you. <laughs> but, but I think a chocolate mousse would really push you over the edge. <laughs> chocolate mousse it is. Start the car. <laughs> Cute bathing suit. I told Alicia we'd get such great rays in the patio. She might want to bring a bathing suit. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Come on, Alicia. Sit down next to me. Yeah. And don't forget your sunblock. I wouldn't want you to burn. Thanks, Brianna. 
Arnez, will you do me? I'll do you if you do me. Yeah, go ahead, Arnez. Do Alicia before she gets too hot. And that wouldn't upset you? Not as much as our guest getting skin cancer. Now do her. Since you insist, I'd love to do her. Hmm. Is this what you want, Brianna? Forget it. I cannot watch this anymore. Yes. Give me that lotion. Ooh, here comes the beam we're beat down. <laughs> and once Alicia's on the ground, maybe we can get in a few kicks. <laughs> now, it takes a woman to know how this is really done. This is better than a No, no, no. Don't ruin this moment with words. <laughs> OK, thanks for your help, but I'll take it from here. Oh, no, 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 but I want to help. After all, I want to be polite to the girl who you invited to our house, who we don't know, to come to our barbecue out of the goodness of your hormones. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant heart. Isn't this what you wanted, huh, Brianna? You're the one who introduced us. You're the one who thought she was so cute. You're the one who was so happy that she's here. OK, OK, that's it. I don't even know why I go to these kind of parties. All you LA freaks want to do is have orgies, and I am not going to end up on the internet. Again. <laughs> I knew I recognized her. I liked you as a blonde. <laughs> Alicia, please. Let me explain. Oh, this turned out to be a great day for a barbecue. Ooh, cornbread. <laughs> no, don't even think about calling me. And that goes for your little touchy-feely girlfriend, too. What the hell was that? Why can't you just yell and pull out her hair like a normal black woman? Why? Is that what you wanted? As a matter of fact, it was. Why do you think I invited her here? You've been so cool with everything, it's like you're not even hurting at all. Like I am. Of course I'm hurting. I've just been acting, okay? Because I thought if I faked it well enough, I'd believe it and it wouldn't hurt so much. But to be honest, Seeing you with her was killing me. Really? The truth is, I'm not really ready to see you with somebody else yet. I guess this is going to be harder than I thought it would be. Well, it didn't help you force an Alicia on me. But you do have a good taste, though. <laughs> so what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we need some rules. OK. Um, what if the house was neutral territory? Off limits for dates. Okay. Here's one. If you start dating another guy that you like, you have to wait the previously established five years before having sex. <laughs> Deal? Deal. <laughs> All right. Chocolate mousse. Sweets for my sweet. I'm sorry, I, I don't eat chocolate. It makes me break out. But the guy said it was your favorite. They promised me it was the way into your heart. Oh, the guy said that, did they? No, 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 no. We we said that she loves the chocolate mousse. <laughs> That's my nickname around the house. <laughs> they call me Baked Alaska. It was how we were all getting the dessert nicknames. You were shutting up, Cupcake. <laughs> so, this is just a joke to you people? You're just using me? Let me leave you with one more of my specialties. <laughs> Daddy, I'm pretty sure you don't put mayonnaise and stuff in. Well, how else is it going to stick together? Ah, uh, gobble, gobble, people. Happy Turkey Day. Ah, some good smells in here. And some disturbing ones, too. So, Dwayne, you changed your mind about going to homecoming this weekend? Man, heck no. High school was the worst years of my life. Why? You should want to go. I can't wait till I graduate and come back to high school rich, famous, and beautiful. 
Oh, so that's why you don't want to go. Uh, speak to her, Flex. She don't know. I'll fight a little girl. Hey, hey, hell no, man. <laughs> Dee, I think you should come to homecoming. High school wasn't that bad. Have you forgotten? I mean, Belinda Hopkins, senior year, homecoming dance. How she lured me backstage, tricked me out of my clothes, and then opened the curtains. You can only blame yourself for wearing Spider-Man underwear. <laughs> Me and my spotty senses don't hear you. I spit away and block you out. Daddy, did you put mayonnaise in the yams? You know it does not go with everything. I don't give a yam. What you think? You're going to eat them and like it, yam it. And you know, you're starting to sound just like your mother, always checking and double checking on everything I do. Well, obviously, you need someone to check after you. Nicole. <laughs> Tell me that's not my ex-wife here. Okay, that's your baby's mama. <laughs> oh, yam, yam, yam. Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. such a thing as a phone call, a fax, an email, a singing telegram, a brick through a window, something to let a brother know you come into town. Listen, Flex, it's been three months. A mother misses her child. So anyway, there I was up the coast of Nova Scotia studying the mating calls of killer whales when I realized I had to see my little girl. Killer whales? How does it feel to work with family? <laughs> Well, I'm glad that she's here. I miss my mommy so Thank much. You, baby. <laughs> so, what you bring me? I got it. Pal. What Ooh, you think? I love it. It's gonna make me look two years older. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing but the best for my baby. You know, Dwayne, I always get her a Thanksgiving gift. So, what did you get her, Flex? I gave her life. How about that? <laughs> oh, and you also gave her your knobby knees. And they're off. Nicole's out to the early lead, but here comes Flex. <laughs> So, uh, how long are you staying, Nicole? Just through the weekend, long enough to spend some time with Brianna and go to our homecoming. And you can relax. You know, you look a little tense. I'm gonna stay at the Ritz. No, she should stay here with us, right, Daddy? Oh, no, 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 no sweetie. Look, your mama's from the hood. Don't take the Ritz away from her. <laughs> but, Daddy, I want Mommy to stay with us. And please help Daddy with the cooking, please. No, baby, baby. I just can't go and take over your father's kitchen. That would not be polite. That's right. Now, all I have to do is add the hot sauce to my famous sweet potato pie. <laughs> Ooh. It'll taste so good, it'll make you want to smack your mama. Feel free, Brianna. Get out of my way. Who does she think she is? Pushing me aside. Baking my bird, mashing my potatoes, making that thing smell all good. I don't care what anybody says. I'm eating my own pie. <laughs> well, give me a slice of go. Teach my mom a lesson for kicking me out on turkey day. Just because she got a new man who doesn't like kids. Dinner is served. Oh, wow, mommy, this looks amazing. Like it. It's beautiful. Uh, playing with you and a turkey like a moment alone together? Well, Flex, you haven't done anything in a while. How about you lead us in prayer? <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for the food which you're about to receive, especially my pie. <laughs> Bless everyone here, even the pushy uninvited guest. <laughs> also, bless the man who paid for that expensive diamond bracelet that wasn't returned when her marriage ended. And dear Lord, thank you so much for the fair market value she received when she pawned it. You did what? Amen. Amen. <laughs> And this dressing is as moist as a night in Venezuela. Yeah, well, it's a dry Phoenix to me. <laughs> well, it's 
a shame the meal you were preparing couldn't rise from the ashes. <laughs> it's a shame you could. <laughs> Brianna, don't scatter your carrots around the plate. I know you're not eating them. Good looking out, Flex. You know, she always used to hide her veggies. When she was six, I would find peas in her ears. <laughs> but I hate carrots. I'd rather do my algebra. By the way, have you done it? But I haven't until Sunday. Oh, no, you have till Saturday because I have to go over it. Ma, Brianna, your father's right. Do what he says. May I just point out that you two agreed on something? It's not Thanksgiving, it's Christmas up in here. <laughs> well, I'm really looking forward to homecoming weekend. I think it'll be good to see all of our old friends. We'll take a lot of photos, because I ain't going. Dwayne, nobody remembers what happened to you at some little dance in 1985. Yeah, that's right. Spidey. Spidey! <laughs> Hey, Ready to go see Thanksgiving Day Massacre? Hey, you still spending that in my house, right? Oh, I can't. I didn't know my mom was coming. Oh, no, baby, go ahead. Have fun. I'll be here for a few days. So you must be the infamous Arnaz. Wait, you talk about me to your mom? So you do dig me. <laughs> now I see what you were talking about. Yeah. But you must be spirit. You know, your parents have given you a very soulful name. Actually, it's Clotilde. <laughs> So you can see why I went to the other side. Uh, okay, Mom and Dad, I'll right. see y'all tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, all right, sweetie, but call before you go to bed. And wait, here, here, here. Some homemade pie for all of you. But, Daddy, these are my friends. Your Uncle Dwayne loved his. Actually, you set it too close to the edge, and it kind of fell. But I think it's eating a hole in the carpet. minutes. What do you mean you don't have no cabs? Ah, uh, well, forget the cab, girl. If you really need to get to the hotel, I got a broom you can hop on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, girl. I'll take you. Oh, you will? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Flex. I can't wait to get out of these clothes. Oh, no need. The ride is free, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nikki, I appreciate you taking over dinner. It made for a really nice Thanksgiving. Well, Flex, when I saw you putting hot sauce in a sweet potato pie, I figured, what next? Mayonnaise in the stuffing? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, that's crazy talk. <laughs> you know, Flex, you're not much of a cook, but you're turning out to be a really great father. Thanks. And, and you know I love having her with me. I know. Who'd have thought you and I would make something so good? Not my mother. Oh. <laughs> But you're not the girl she met when we were in high school. Mm -hmm. The one with the big bamboo earrings, at least two pairs. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I was around the way, nah, girl. I, I did my out, thing. Out, Watch me that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Flex? We've, we've come a long way. Yeah. yeah. We have. Yeah. Better jobs. Mm -hmm. Better personal lives. Yeah. Better parents. But wait, Flex, like <laughs> I guess we've uh, gotten better at everything, huh? <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe we need to try again, make sure it wasn't a fluke. Well, you know what they say. Third time's the charm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. It's 9 a.m. What? Brianna be home any minute. We don't want her to catch us like this. You're right, you're right. We'll have a hard time explaining this one. Uh-oh. Flex, I can't find my undies. Oh, well, that explains why these are so tight. <laughs> Give me my undies. Come and get them. Yes. Daddy, that movie was so scary. I've never seen so many people get killed by one wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, you're home. You need something? Uh, pie? <laughs> um, baby, it's, it, it, it's not what it looks like. See, <laughs> this is a funny so story. <laughs> See, what had happened was we fell asleep watching TV. That, right? that, yeah, yeah. And your mother had a, a itch in her back, and I was trying to scratch it. Where's sure that? Where you said right, right down there, there at right the bottom. Thank you so much. <laughs> guys, I know what's going on. I watch Sex in the City. You two are fooling around. Uh, wait a second now. We're not fooling around. Look, 
I care for your mother a lot. We have a lot of history together. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's right. We have you. So this must mean you're getting back together! Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. I want to do this as long as I can remember. <laughs> You, you two don't have any clothes on, do you? Mm-mm. <laughs> well, you know what? All I was hoping for was a great Thanksgiving. I guess Mom coming to town wasn't the only surprise. <laughs> Good morning. Hey. Flex, what happened last night? If you have to ask, I must not have been doing it right. <laughs> Why are we here? We've been divorced for 12 years. I don't know. I just looked at you. Something clicked. Maybe it was the way you stuffed the turkey. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Our little girl thinks we're getting back together. Is that so crazy? Yes. I mean, you know, I've, I've got my research in Nova Scotia, and, you know, you and Brianna, you guys are building a beautiful life here in Baltimore. Maybe we shouldn't mess that up. Look, let's just get through the weekend, you know? I really want us to try to make this work, Nikki. It feels right. Should we go for it? I'm already gone. the best cheerleaders out there. That's my That's baby, our baby. baby. Yeah. That's my baby. <laughs> oh, Daddy, can I have some money for snacks? Oh, baby, you don't need any money. I bought pie. Oh, go, no, go. go. <laughs> uh, afternoon, alumni, alumni. <laughs> Man, who you trying to be? D. Diddy? <laughs> my business card. Dwayne Knox, freelance astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> See, success is the best revenge. And since I'm just a used car salesman, I'm pretending to be a successful spaceman so as to get my revenge with Belinda. Uh, Belinda. What's up? Belinda, how are you doing, baby? Do you remember me? Of course I do, Dwan. Uh, Dwayne, not astronaut. <laughs> Why don't we go take a ride in my limo? I'll tell you about my seven nights on Saturn. <laughs> Did you just see that? No, no. Yes, you did. Don't lie. Hey, come on. Look, it's no big deal. She's just being friendly. See, that was always your problem, Flex. You too damn friendly. Oh, hold up now. You always seeing things that aren't there. Poof, there it is. Poof, there's something else. I do not. What did you do? What is that? Oh, excuse me, Grady. Can you mind your business? Hey, hey, hey. what are you guys fighting about? Oh, yeah. we're not fighting, baby. No, we're just talking with a lot of emotion, baby. Yeah. That's all. Then why is Daddy's angry vein popping out of his head? <laughs> That's my love bump. <laughs> it pulsates whenever I'm around your mother. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been impatient. Nicole, you should just take a moment, breathe, and relax. <sighs> okay, let's go. Wait a minute, where are my keys? I left them right here on the coffee table. Oh, well, I put them in the kitchen drawer. You know I hate clutter. And you know I hate when you move my stuff all around. Flex, you know what? Don't stop before well, we go out. This hey, 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 okay. Here are the keys. Safe and sound. Let's go. Thanks, Bree. Look, Nicole, I have a system, okay? A place for everything and everything in its place. Right. On the floor, on top of the TV. You know, Nicole, bed. I'm just Okay, hey, you. hey, hey. Let's go party. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't believe you two are still together. 
star basketball player, class valedictorian. <laughs> you two were such leaders. And look at you, still achieving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> well, I have a PhD. <laughs> I make more money than she does. <laughs> A donation to our building fund is always appreciated. Oh, sheesh, of course. Honey, donate. <laughs> well, I guess I could write a check for a hundred. <laughs> oh, no, 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 absolutely not. Make it five. We're not cheap people. <laughs> We're not cheap people? Oh, it's easy to be generous when it's not your money. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is so embarrassing. I always thought my parents getting back together would be the best thing ever, but look at them, they always fight. Parents always fight. In my house, it starts every Friday when my mama wonders what happens to my daddy's check. <laughs> my parents never argue. In fact, they never talk. There's a cold, eerie silence in my house. It's kind of cool, though. My parents seem to fight about everything. I mean, yesterday, it was, should the toilet paper go up and over or down and under? Who cares? It all gets flushed. <laughs> so I said to him, Billy Boy, instead of Micro Hard, why not call it Micro Soft? <laughs> Dwayne, why didn't I realize how fabulous you were in high school? It's the fur, baby. Go on, pet me. I'll be your real life chia pet. Ooh, watch me grow. <laughs> <laughs> You and your family. You always thought you were better than me and my family. How do I put this nicely? We were. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uppity. Just stank and uppity. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm sure you missed the days when you drank Kool-Aid out of the jelly jar. <laughs> Excuse me. Those were passed down from my grandmother. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a moment to thank the most generous contributors to our building fund, Flex and Nicole Barnes, can you believe they're still together? <laughs> it's funny how you like to drive fast and you're just so slow getting ready. Oh, Mom and Dad, please stop. You are giving me a headache. I'm going to bed. So why'd you have to go and upset her? Me? What about you? You're the one always complaining. Stop touching my stuff. You still want to go. Oh, well, I'm not the one with the bad nose. Sound like you boiling eggs up there. <laughs> and you always picking at me, too. No, no, no. I'm just honest with you about your fault. You know what? You're not as perfect as you think you are, Flex. You know what, Nicole? Who are we kidding, huh? This is not working out. You know, that's the first thing we agreed on all night. Look, there's no right or wrong here. We are just not getting along. And unfortunately, that's why we got a divorce. You're right. You're right. Now, I remember. So how are we gonna break this to Brianna? Like two mature adults. This is gonna break her heart. Yippee! Yes, I love you guys. This made me so happy. Wait, you're not upset? No, I'm relieved. You guys torture each other. And if you stay together, sooner or later, the hate will trickle down to me. And I don't want to be trickled on. <laughs> Ooh, I love you guys. <laughs> My parents have came to their senses. <laughs> the world is right again. <laughs> What's wrong with your child? Nothing. I have for her is cool. <laughs> well, I guess I better get to the hotel. Good idea. Uh, Nicole. We were good together, once. Yeah, we were. Nice underwear. 
there, Dwayne. Y yes, yes, they are. But this time, they're cowboys. Hey, Fonzie, uh, don't you want to take that across the street? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> it wasn't bothering me. <laughs> it was bothering her. <laughs> no, it wasn't so much that I was bothered, I was concerned. Now, Brianna, are you okay? I'm Josh, and I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yes, he is. <laughs> uh, I'll just fix this tomorrow. My mom will trip from late for dinner. Uh, oh, is she making something special? Reservations, and if I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you live here? Yeah, part time. With my mom, my parents are divorced. Oh, my parents are divorced too. Oh, well, my parents never got married. <laughs> Maybe I'll block your way again tomorrow, Brianna. And, and, and spirit. Yeah, spirit. <laughs> Ooh, girl, did you see him checking me out? I think he liked me. You know what? We had a deal the next time we both saw a cute guy together, he was going to be mine. <laughs> no, nah, but see, that law was superseded by the location clause. If he lives in my building, he's all mine. Girl, did you get a copy of that? No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Our names is in my building. That's right, girl. And he's all yours. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner. But I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I'll be there to pick you then. What a true love we are born. Any girl against the world, living one on one, one on uh -huh. one. Yeah. Can't nobody break this bond, yeah. living one on one. Yeah. one, on one. Yeah. That's yeah. just because now we have a bond, yeah. living one on one. Yeah. Yeah. One on one. Oh, hey, dog. Uh, I believe this belongs to you. My new lamp. How'd you get it? Well, they delivered it last week. Last week? Yeah, well, well I've been busy. And it's been dark. <laughs> hey, why is the door unlocked? Any lunatic could just waltz right in here. Hey, you're right, so why don't you waltz right back out? <laughs> I will. I just wanted to give Brianna the geography book she left at my place, and uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you a question. Who is the worst sports reporter in all of Baltimore? I don't know who. Word is. It's you. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh, great. Another Howard McIntyre column trashing me. Man, that guy has it out for me. Just because I get the interviews he can't get. Wait a minute, Flex. Listen to this. Even with cue cards and a teleprompter, the only thing more derivative and cliche than Flex Washington's reporting style is... <laughs> Flex Washington. <laughs> Sorry. See, he's a hater. He doesn't like the pro athlete term broadcaster thing. You know, he says we're nothing but jocks with mics. But I've done plenty of hard hitting exposés. I can handle his criticism. <laughs> I hope so, dog. Because it says right here <clears throat> uh, How can Washington objectively investigate athletes for point shaving or taking performance enhancers when he's out partying with them? <laughs> I say it's impossible. Washington isn't a journalist. He's an athletic supporter. <laughs> he called you a jock strap. Mm, 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 mm. Poor guy. You know who he is? He's that kid at the playground who always got picked last. After the girls and the kid with the special shoe. Hey, I can outkick anyone. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Ooh, girl. Are you going to school or a rumble? <laughs> OK, new look. Lip gloss, new leather jacket with the tag still hanging on the sleeve. What's his name? Josh, and he's so cute, and I think I love him. <laughs> what happened to our He's so cute, and I think I love him. Daddy, Josh is the kindest, most sensitive, amazing, wonderful, sweetest guy I've ever met. I think I can spend the rest of my life with him. Oh, baby, tell me more. So what's Josh's last name? How would I know? I just met him. <laughs> Go to school. We'll talk later, OK? OK, bye-bye, Josh. I mean, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see this, man. He is killing you. <laughs> Dwayne, I don't care. He can't kill me. And do you wanna know why? Because I'm Flex Washington, and words mean nothing to me. <laughs> Funny, because that's exactly what he says right here. <laughs> <laughs> you 
hold the record for most assists and most goals. Three years running, and you deny the use of any performance-enhancing drugs? It's my asthma medicine. I like this story, Amber. <laughs> And there it is, folks, another hard-hitting expose on the Flex Files. Mommy! Yeah, go tell your mother. <laughs> and I'll be back with my closing comments. And we're out. Ooh, ha -ha, yeah. Hey, how you like that, man? Bring them on. Who's next? I'm ready to take on the world. Flex Washington isn't pulling any punches, baby. Uh, well, <laughs> let's see. Oh, there's a senior Olympic synchronized swim team. Yeah, due to advanced age and chlorine, most of them are deaf already, so you'll have to yell your insults. Hey, bring them on, man. I hear they're using Viagra as a performance enhancer drug. Supposedly, it helps keep the men afloat. You know what, Flex? You just gave McIntyre more fodder for his column tomorrow. As your producer and as your friend. It may need your producer. I encourage you to take the high road. And you're right. The high road, like a mature adult. And we're back in five, four, three. I'd like to close out today's Flex Files with a few words for Howard McIntyre of the Baltimore Examiner. I'm rubber, you're glue. Everything you write bounces off me and sticks to you. <laughs> Good night, Baltimore. <laughs> and we're out. Way to take that high road, Flex. <laughs> oh, uh, a package for uh, Flex Washington? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm Flex Washington. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. I was just about to go into my place. <laughs> All right. You have a good day now. Flat app. <laughs> Ooh, pottery barn. <laughs> Hope it's a salad bowl. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, what have you got there? Nothing. I get packages, too, you know. <laughs> anyway, girl, I saw Josh coming in the building. How do I look? Like a man, hog, huh? Keeping all a man for yourself. Oink, oink. <laughs> okay, Spirit, I promise. The next guy who comes along is all yours. What's up, y'all? Uh-uh, I don't want him. He's used. <laughs> so, Arnez, what brings you by for a brief visit? I got problems. Oh, everybody does. Things will get better. It's always a cloud with a silver lining. It's always darkest before the dawn. Have a nice day. Thanks for coming by. Try to get rid of me? No. Oh. Bye. Hey. Come with me, Arnez, and tell Spirit all about it. I mean, somebody's life has got to be more pathetic than mine. <laughs> oh, hi, Josh. Who's Josh? <laughs> Cute hat. You look like you're ready to go riding. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean with me. Well, neither did I. There's plenty of bikes in this town. Gotcha, just kidding. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> Who's Josh? Uh, just a new neighbor of Brianna's with bad taste in women. So what's this about a problem? It's Ginger. She always wants to be with me. She smothers me. I didn't know it was going to be like this. You know what your problem is? You got with Ginger because you were mad at Brianna. That is not true. I like Ginger. Just the calling me 20 times a day I can't stand. I mean, at least Brianna left a little mystery. But Ginger, we always know who's done it. So, when did you get the bike? Ah, uh, two Christmases ago at my dad's. It was a big guilt year. He was uh, thinking about moving in with his girlfriend. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. These earrings, I walked in on my dad and his date. They were just holding hands. But if I came in 10 minutes later, these would be real diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better get going. My mom's microwaving a burrito for me, and you know what that means. What? Breakfast at the hospital. <laughs> well, you know, if you want a home-cooked meal, I can always whip something up for you. You can cook? Of course I can cook. You can call me Chef Boy Arbri. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping me with dinner, Mommy. Helping you? I fixed the whole meal. a mess, but I've been in the kitchen cooking all day. <laughs> it smells great. What are we having? We're having la... la... chicken. We're having la chicken. It's French. <laughs> mm. Nice to meet you, Josh. I'm Brianna's mother, Nicole. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, so you've been talking about me. That's a good sign. 
I don't believe this. I'm getting it twice a day, in the morning and at night. Eh, yeah, Flex, okay, enough about your love life. They're children present. Nicole, this is not a good time. I'm at war with Howard McIntyre. As if the newspapers weren't enough, now he's attacking me on the internet. You didn't tell me your dad was Flex Washington. Oh, by the way, my daddy's Flex Washington. I'm off the high road, I'm taking the low road. Throw away all the soap, I'm getting down and dirty. Are you finished? Because this is Brianna's friend, Josh, okay? <laughs> Bye. Hey, yeah, I've heard so much about you. Uh, I'm Flex Washington, Brianna's father. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Washington. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Flex Files. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> I like this kid. <laughs> Hi, I'm Howard McIntyre, Josh's father. His mother said he was down here. McIntyre? Washington? Dad? Ma? Flex. Dad! Oh, my bad. Go with your daddy. <laughs> Dad! You can't slam the door on the first, second, third love of my life? Well, I cannot believe you. Get back. Gosh, I'm so sorry, Josh. Howard, I'm Brianna's mother, Nicole. Um, why don't you guys come in for a few minutes? Maybe it would help if we got to know one another. Forget it, Nicole. He's the hater I can feel breathing on my calves when I'm trying to do an interview with an athlete in the locker room. Oh, oh, big talk for a two-time NBA loser with nothing but a pretty smile and a cue card with complicated words like fladap. <laughs> Dad, you're messing up everything. Brianna, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 you won't. My daughter is not gonna associate with the son of the slanderer who's trying to take the food off of our table, the roof from over our heads, and the DKNY off your back. Son, you are not dating the daughter of the poster child of America's short attention span. A Washington by any other name would be just as foul. Come on, we're leaving. Oh, oh, no, you're not leaving. I'm kicking you out, George Jefferson style. Get out! <laughs> Hold your tongue. Your life be not yours till you're 18. <laughs> oh my gosh, Josh! <laughs> Why, Josh? <laughs> Hello. What are you doing out there? I got you something. You know, since we never got to have dinner together. Oh, you are so sweet. Look, I'm sorry about my dad. He's such a dork. Oh, I'm sorry about mine, too. He's a bigger dork. I can't stop thinking about you, Brianna. Oh, well, you know if my dork finds out, he's gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, this is so romantic. <laughs> Yeah, I better go. Try not to dream about me too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't see that. Ow! Ow! I thought you said you were taking me out to breakfast. Are we not out? <laughs> Is this not breakfast? What is this? Another McIntyre article. Man, listen to this. Fate smiled on me yesterday when I was given the opportunity to visit Flex Washington's home. It's decorated in early Fred. Fred Flintstone, Fred Sanford, Freddy Krueger, pick a Fred. Oh. Hey, if you're Fred Flintstone, does that make me Mr. Slate? <laughs> I killed him in the coffee room. Hey, my daughter hates me and is probably gonna run off with the son of the man who's making me the laughing stock of Baltimore. Now, mine was funnier. <laughs> what I don't understand is, what's this guy's beef with me? Oh, it's simple, Flexi. Since the daughter man, or what I like to call the early 80s, <laughs> there's been this battle between print journalists and broadcast journalists. Tell us more, media man. <laughs> you see, your print journalists are generally smarter, but not the most attractive folk, bordering on Carney. 
like a little menagerie of circus freaks, if you will. <laughs> well, there's only one way to deal with a little circus freak. I'm gonna go over to that newsroom and pound that little freak into a, a little freak. Uh, That's what I'm gonna do. Hold I'm on, gonna... Flex, here. Hold on. You can't go around beating up little people or bowling them <laughs> or offering them $50 to sing Ding Dong the Witch is Dead at your divorce here. <laughs> You know, but what you can do is show him what it's like to dance your dance. Really? Challenge him to a sports duel, if you will. Oh, I get it. I get it. Invite McIntyre to join me on the Flex Files, and I can show him how it's done. Yeah, this way we'll go head to head. Or in his case, head to knee. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine was funny. Yeah, make me. Yeah. Ah. Get the door. Get the door! How did they accidentally deliver Mr. Washington's coffee table to your apartment? How'd you accidentally back into the door frame? What? Before <laughs> get in there. Okay, Dwayne, so what's going on? Yeah, how did all those different stores get the wrong address? Okay, I have a confession to make. No. <laughs> well, see, I had a big date. My first one since Stacy and I broke up, so I've been borrowing Flex's things. So, uh... <laughs> We can just keep this our little secret, huh? <laughs> sure. For 50 bucks. Each. Each. Y'all can forget that. <laughs> Welcome to a very special edition of the Flex Files. Ooh, this is the big show Don Brown was telling us about. With me today is noted Baltimore sports journalist Howard McIntyre. Or as I like to call him behind his back, Little Mac. <laughs> I've invited him on this special edition of the Flex Files so he can teach me how to do my job. Howard. Thank you, Flex. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, oh. <laughs> and here. <laughs> and now I'll turn things over to our station manager, Hank Hampton, who will set the stage for tonight's sports challenge. Take it away, Hank. Thank you, Flex. Well, the challenge is quite simple. I've selected two clips from the Super Bowl between the New York Giants and our beloved Baltimore Ravens. Our two newsmen here, Mr. McIntyre, and Washington will do a highlight commentary. Mr. Washington, you want the toss backstage. You uh, go first. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. All right, sports fans. Dilford with the three-step drop. Looks off the safety like he's flirting with the guy. This man is sick. He hits Stokely, who's more open than Shannon Sharp's mouth. Then it takes it to the his house. A 38-yard touchdown pass that has the people of Baltimore forgetting all about the dreadful day when the Mayflower trucks herded the Colts out of town. Flat out. It's all yours, Howard. OK. OK. The, the ball is snapped. Dilfer drops back. Oh, wait. I, I think that's Banks. And, and it looks like he's making an early deposit. Uh, or is it a withdrawal? Uh, uh, wait. Can you rewind that? Uh, ne never mind. Um, and it, it, it looks like, it, it, lo it looks like the guy caught it like the flu. Achoo! God bless you. No, 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 that's my flat app. Achoo! Oh, we're out. <laughs> oh my God, I suck. It's so much easier when I do it in my basement. Normal. What is it now, Ginger? I miss you, wish you toozy woozy. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, that's it, all right? I've had it. It's not how it's supposed to be. I need someone who's gonna give me some space. Someone who's independent. Someone who's not named after a spice. <laughs> oh, if it's so funny, I'd like to see you do what I do. <laughs> Look, man, I respect what you do. I didn't make fun of you until you started making fun of me. Why? You make it look so easy. And I, I hate that full adapt thing. Just like I hate Kevin Costner. <laughs> I don't know why, I just do. Look, man, it, it's not as easy being me as it looks. Uh, for example, see, I have to watch my weight. You, on the other hand, can let yourself go even more. <laughs> Listen up, guys. Um, the kids have something to say. <sighs> Daddy, Mr. McIntyre, we could disobey you guys. And sneak around and see each other. But we need our allowances. And I really like Rihanna a lot. Hey, man, we need to bury the hatchet for the kids' sake. Ah, uh, you're taking all the fun out of it, Washington. <laughs> but I'm gonna be the bigger guy, for the kids' sake. Howard, you could never be the bigger guy. <laughs> Spirit, I made up my mind. I want Rihanna back. 
She's a girl for me. see that triple homicide on the news this morning. Daddy, you're harshing my mellow. <laughs> well, um, ba, I dare see be con co jo. That's a loose translation in Yoruba for sit your butt down, eat your breakfast. But mommy, I'm too excited to eat. I gotta go surprise Fred and Arnez and tell them that I'm back and that their boring little lives are gonna be meaningful again. <laughs> All right. Now that the child is gone, can we discuss the house rules for squatters, vagabonds, and the generally undesirable? <laughs> Rule number one, no more whale music at night. Man, what is with the... A soothing sound of a killer whale is what helps me sleep. Yeah, well, so could a whale-placed harpoon. Well, if I can recall, that's the sound that you used to make when you used to reach a romantic peak. <laughs> Just tell me when you're gonna get a job. Well, Flex, as you know, Baltimore is a water-based society with various points gracing the Chesapeake Bay. You know, you used to be so hot before all that book learning. And you used to be even hotter when I was ignorant. Now, focus. Now, I'm gonna be circulating my resume to all the places befitting a woman with a PhD, and then I'm gonna find a very big, fabulous place to live. Oh, how about fabulous and far away? <laughs> Come on, Flex, now you're lucky. You don't have to start all over again. No, no, I don't. They've been keeping my seat warm down to WYNX, and do you wanna know why? Because I have something called likability. <laughs> See, when, when people like you, they wanna keep you around, and uh, when they don't, well, you've lived the rest. <laughs> Sometimes in the snow, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't trust no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. And your flat hat man is back. <laughs> and now that I've got the sheen of a guy who almost made it to the pros again, we need to renegotiate. But don't worry, I ain't gonna stick it to you. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, awfully nice of you, little flexy. Give me a chance to stick it to you first. <laughs> oh, you're no longer lead sports anchor. You've been bumped. What? <laughs> By who? Hey, Flex, you're in my spot. <laughs> Visitor parking is on level two. Visitor parking? You can't fire me. Oh, technically I can, but I haven't. You see, when you ran off to pursue your hoop dreams, you left the WYNX team without a star player. But Stacy said I could have the time off. Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm giving Stacy some time off. <laughs> but, but Danny, why him? Oh, because he's ruthless. He's hardworking. And he's my wife's little brother. <laughs> but when he got wind of the oldest rookie in the NBA story, he was on the first plane out to LA. That story was about me. Yeah, Flex, don't worry. The irony wasn't lost on us either. Uh, but hey, maybe you could fill in for me on a day or two. I uh, call in sick on spa days. Ciao, Bella. I don't have to take this. Every station in Baltimore is going to be knocking on my door because I have likability. You also have a non-compete clause. Yeah. So your contract states that you can't work at a local media outlet for a year if you quit. I'm not intimidated by your 
binding contracts, your legal technicalities. Yeah, my million dollar lawsuits. <laughs> a man dares to pursue his dreams and loses his job? This is not the America that I want to live in. No, but it's still the land of opportunity, pal. And lucky for you, our weatherman is retiring. El Nino Gonzalez? <laughs> I thought he died months ago. Yeah, we did too. Well, you never shake the sound of a man screaming in his own coffin. <laughs> hey, man, I do sports. I don't do weather, and I'll never do weather. So if there's no position open in sports, then there's no position for me. Uh, th this is where you say, I'm sorry you're back in sports? Oh, I'm sorry, you're... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! Brianna, I can rock this Gucci purse, and you can rock this Prada purse. Oh, you are the worst Brianna ever, Ray Ray. You need to go inside and practice. Then remember, it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Carl, ah! what are you doing here? I missed you. I thought you left. My mom quit her job, and we're staying in Baltimore. Ah! This is so exciting. I mean, we can go back to school together again, and you and our nest can start your new life as a couple. Ah! Arnez again after a kiss like that. Well, why? Because that was our goodbye forever kiss. Our Titanic kiss. The, the music swells, he slips into the ocean, he dies with a band and my heart goes on. <laughs> he lives next door to me. You're gonna see him sooner or later. But everything has changed. I rocked one on him. No, two. And I don't think you learned that practicing on your pillow. So I at least need to know how he feels about our kiss. So what are you gonna do? Uh-uh, no, no. What are we gonna do? Oh, girl, I miss your scheming way so much! <laughs> now, one lawyer in Baltimore can get me out of that non-compete contract. Well, there's one, but I gotta rear-end somebody and wear a neck brace for a week. <laughs> and I've checked everywhere. Nobody's hiring. Can't believe I quit my job. At least we're not like other unemployed people. We got skills. You know what? You're right. I mean, we can find a job in no time. No doubt. The, the, the phones is going to be ringing off the hook. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> is it on? <laughs> okay, this is it. Here comes our Nash. Now, when he gets here, be sure to be real subtle about the kids, okay? Okay. Hey, our Nash. Uh. So how about that kiss yesterday, huh? Yeah, that was a kiss I've been dreaming about my whole life. Aww. I miss Brianna so much. Sometimes I think I'm seeing her. <laughs> you got it bad. Uh, but maybe she's closer than you think. A lot closer. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta go. See you around. Okay. How come you didn't come out? Girl, are you kidding? I'm gonna make him miss me more so he'll want me more. Now that I know Arnez can't function without the soft touch of my tender kiss. <laughs> Where are you going? Nowhere. Yet. But I'm acting as if. You see, if I dress for work, I'll get work. It's called Manifest Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Destiny calling right now. <laughs> Nicole Barnes, PhD. Hello, Destiny calling for Mr. Carol Barnes, PhD. That is not funny, Flex. This is hard for me. I've always had a job. Even when I was 18 and pregnant with Brianna, I was paid to be the poster girl for babies having babies. Don't let it happen to you. <laughs> Look, girl, you need to get over it. You knew there was no job security in whale watching. They're an endangered species, for God's sake. They go, you go. Well, what about you, Mr. Flat Hat Man? Don't nobody want you, do they? What do they? Do they? they? No. <laughs> oh, how the bourgeoisie have fallen. <laughs> 
for once, you two are down and out, and I am the symbol of success and prosperity. <laughs> then why aren't you at work? Well, uh, my boss down at the used car lot gave me a couple days off to prepare for my annual evaluation. Oh, I'm sorry, that's employed people talk. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, in laid off people terms, I'm just studying to become the lot manager. Dang, Nicole, we suck. Dwayne's doing better than us. Well, it's okay, honey. It thinks it get better. You want a hug? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll give you a little hug. Oh, look at you two, comforting each other. <laughs> you two stay jobless much longer. I won't be surprised if I'm the best man at your wedding again, and there's another bundle of joy running around up in here. <laughs> hey, 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 where you going? Uh, to let El Nino back in his casket. <laughs> Bring your umbrellas to work tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> Today's weather question comes from Margaret Kurtz of Towson. Flex, my bridge club loves watching you do the weather. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Could we see if your back is as sexy as your front? <laughs> and what does that have to do with the weather? Bless you. Local weather forecast, and I'm your weatherman, Flex Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Very funny, Charlie. That was nice work, Flex. Really. Top of the next hour, I'll wear spandex. All right, I, you've won. I, I've accepted my position as weather slut. Hey, uh, weather slut. <laughs> Could you? Tidy up the desk a little. Um, see, I gotta go. I'm off to play 18 holes with Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan in some charity thing today. Wait, wait, wait. I, I set that up. They're supposed to be teeing off with me. Uh, no, actually, they're supposed to be teeing off with the lead sports anchor, and that would be um, me. <laughs> Smite him. You need to get over there and claim your man. Look at her, crawling all over him like a spider with a big old butt. <laughs> see, that's what you see. All I see is part two of my plan. Arnaz being so into me, he rebukes the hoochie. Now all I have to do is get over there and hear it for myself. Hey, I got an idea. Hey, Ray Ray. <laughs> PhD thing on my resume? Yeah, that's a typo. <laughs> it's supposed to be GED. <laughs> yeah, I'm as dumb as a stump. <laughs> I need to be a job. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I have been up all night studying. Nicole, look, ask me any question out of this book. Dwayne, I really don't have time for this. See, all that attitude gonna keep you from getting a job. <laughs> At least Flex has likability. Make me like you. Make me not smack you. Come on, Nicole, you're my best friend's ex-wife. Let's, let's not get freaky. What's up, D? You get a job yet, Nicole? No, chocolate thunder. And it's sunny. You said that it was gonna be rainy. Well, I got a forecast for you. Get a job. <laughs> Ooh, it's Hurricane Flex. Batten down the hatches, board up the windows. There's a lot of hot air blowing. Right up, yo. Woo! <laughs> there it is right there, that old passion. <laughs> you two keep this up, and angry sex is sure to follow. <laughs> Shut up! What? You got a crappy job, right? How do you get up every morning without wanting to throw yourself in front of a train? Hey, easy, all right? See, I get up every morning knowing that by the end of the day, I'm gonna make somebody smile. By selling them a pinto with a backseat made of Legos? Hey, Flex, you got a job. You're a weatherman. You get to lie to millions of people every day and they keep coming back. Dog, that's the American dream. <laughs> Girl, this car's so funky, I'm about to black out from the fumes. Knock it up, go on a mission. <laughs> no, there's a fair going on at Druid Hill. And I heard the haunted house is real dark and scary. And I need someone to hold on to. So, you want to go? I'm not really in the mood for big crowds. See? He's rebuking, he's rebuking! Ever since Brianna left, I've been kind of down. 
Me too. Oh, I miss her so. But at least we have each other. Thanks, Ginger. You're a good friend. Let's go hang out at the mall. I don't love the mall. See, now he's passed my test. <laughs> oh. Shreya wouldn't leave his cart in front of my building. <laughs> so let your smiles be your umbrellas because there aren't any clouds in sight. And for Maggie Kurtz and her bridge club, I am Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And thank you. We'll be back at the top of the hour. And we're out. Flex, that's one of the best weather broadcasts I've ever seen. Oh, thanks, Hank. You know, I am just happy to be part of the team. <laughs> hey, bro-in-law, a word? I just got this memo that you're sending me to that fishing contest on Sharp Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. The tournament. <laughs> that should be a blast. I cover athletes, not fish. Hey, hey, why don't I do the weather from the tournament? It might be kind of fun to have the winner of the contest co-host with me. I mean, after all, I am the bass man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. Unlike Danny here. Danny, let's go talk about your future in my office. Uh, Danny. Likeability. <laughs> Chef Boy R.D.? Close, Chef Bro R.D. <laughs> ah, very funny. This is an apology to your mother. Wait a minute. Cooking and apology all in one day. Did the doctor call? Am I dying? <laughs> very funny. But thanks to our good friend, Dwayne, I got a new attitude and my old job back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Daddy. Uh, thanks, hey, don't waste all those hugs over there. Mommy's got a new job, too. You're looking at the new research director for the Save the Oceans United League. S-O-U-L. So! <laughs> See, now I'm helping marine life by going straight to the source. So everything is going to be perfect. Oh, congratulations, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Ooh, and I've got even better news. Brianna and I are going to be living it up in a spacious apartment in Bolton Hill. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You and Brianna get an apartment? We never talked about that. You actually thought that since I got a job in Baltimore that the living arrangements weren't going to change? Yeah, things are great the way they are. No, no, they're not. But, Flex, I'm not going to argue with you. We'll let Brianna decide. Baby. <laughs> now, who would you rather live with, Mommy or Daddy? Now, take your time, you know? Nobody's going to get upset. <laughs> OK, Daddy. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I'm fine. You know, if you rather live here, then here is where you'll stay. We could spend the weekends together. Oh, thank you, Mommy, for understanding. Okay. And for giving me life. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Hey, baby. Oh, wow. Nicole, that was probably the most mature thing that you've ever done. Our relationship is moving to a new level. I hate you! <laughs> against me. Nicole, be reasonable. Look, see, you're like broccoli. Healthy, good for you, but people have to pour cheese all over you just to choke you down. <laughs> see, I'm like chocolate cake. I go down pretty easy, and I'm good for your hips. Don't feel so sure of yourself, Lex. The only reason why I went along with this is because I didn't want to end up being mean mom. I know a trap when I see one. Oh, please, Nicole, ain't nobody trying to trap you. Oh, I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm on to you, Flex. See, you're the fun parent, but not for long, okay? This is my chance to be the fun parent. So while you're setting curfews and imposing punishments, I'm gonna be mommy good guy. <laughs> you see, I'm having fun already. This place you're moving into, uh, padded walls, right? <laughs> Brianna, I'm so happy to see you. I've been lost in the hot seat. When did you get back? Well, it's a long story, but all that matters is that I'm here now. I'm glad you never went anywhere. Brianna, I know you never left. <laughs> Brianna, why do you keep playing games in my heart? It wasn't a game. It was a test. Brianna, I'm a musician. Elvis wasn't good at tests, and neither am I. I think it's best we stay friends. 
Ready to go, boo? Boo? Yeah, I'm with Ginger now. Shouldn't play games. Welcome back, Bree Bree. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I blew his spirit. All boys were more like you. There's nobody like me, sweetie. I'm an original. <laughs> I thought our nest was an original. <laughs> Stop messing with me. <laughs> okay, well, this is the last of it. I'll walk you out, Ma. Okay. Well, take care, Nicole. I wish you well. Whatever, Flex. <laughs> Tina Turner, she go, she go, she go, she go, she go. I'm gonna miss her so much.